would like to acknowledge that we are here today on the traditional territory of the Mississauga of the Credit First Nation. Heard about the talent show happening at EBS? Oh yeah, I heard it's gonna be epic, and it's on May 10th. I'm planning to dazzle everyone with my magic tricks. Magic tricks? That's fantastic. I'm still trying to decide what talent to showcase. There are endless possibilities. We could dance, sing, tell jokes, or even perform a dramatic reading of your favorite song. Hmm. I'm not sure if I have the moves like Jagger. The moves like Jagger. I've got the moves like Jagger. Or the voice like Adele. Hello from the other side. To command the stage like that. No worries. The talent show is all about having fun and showing off what makes us human. I've got it. What if we team up and do a comedy skit together? Brilliant idea. We'll have the audience in stitches. All right. Check this out. We're two bumbling detectives on the case of the missing homework. Dun dun dun! The most pressing case in the history of EBS. Hmm. It seems the trail leads straight to Brightspace. Maybe Wreck-It Ralph broke the internet again. Or perhaps the teacher's pet fish spun away with it. This case is getting crazier by the minute. I'm loving all this improv, but we should really record it because it needs to be submitted by May 8th at 4 p.m. Oh yes. The Google form is so easy to use. Just ask your teachers for the link. And remember, students and staff, make sure your recordings, words, actions, outfits, and everything you do is school appropriate. And don't share your name in the recording for privacy reasons. Ten-year-old Carter Bonus certainly looks the part on the links. And it's fitting, since his hat polo shirt, pants, and belt are all from his very own line of golf apparel. I told my mom ways I could run my business, and eventually she said yes. Last month, Carter got to show off his gear at the PGA show in Orlando. Thank you. Yeah. The company is called Spectrum Golf, and we will let the budding business owner explain how it was born. Well, I'm high on the spectrum, and I was writing the S and G, and I, I wrote the G backwards. We were going to change it, but my dad said it looked pretty good, so it sticks. Is Carter's mom. He was textbook autism, right? No speech, um, no eye contact, very repetitive motions, sensory issues. <laughs> Thelma says Carter acted out and was bullied at school for being different. A low point became a turning point in fourth grade. She says therapy and medication helped get her son back on track. We are back. Yes, we are. So April 25th at 5 p.m., we are hosting a live event at the Peel Art Museum and Arcade. That's on Wilton Street, 
by Rep City Hall. Yes, and we are seeing Miss Lada live and in person. Miss Molly will be reading a story to us too. And there's one other special feature as well. Yes, Miss Lada will be taking us on a tour to see what the museum has. I heard it has the old Brampton Jail. Wait, jail? Did you say jail? I sure did. So we will be able to see what it looked like 100 years ago? This is definitely something you want to attend. For sure, check the parent calendar for virtual living or show up at April 25th at the Peel Art Museum and Artists at 5 p.m. See you there, ABS! Bye! Mrs. Merwa is. I'm in the co-lab of the professional library under the research and innovation department of Peel. Can you just have a look at behind me and see how amazing all of this is? These are so many educators that are here that are learning about better ways to bring technology and learning and innovation to you. And I have with me here Mr. Thompson and Mr. Shenye and we are learning about what we can bring to you at EBS today. We'll see you soon. Check this out. excited to be here. I love that mashup of two different styles of music and that is one of the most amazing parts is just being able to hear music from different cultures, different styles come together and how well they work together and I, I really wanted to be dancing but I figured I probably shouldn't because I'd have to turn on my camera in a second. So thank you for that mashup this morning and I did hear, I think I missed a little bit of it, I think there's some talent show or talent opportunities coming and i think uh, all the adults actually should be doing something let's show our talents uh so i'm looking forward to a challenge so let's see who, who comes up and who records their own particular um, talent that they have so i have missed all of you i haven't seen you since last friday uh, a couple of things let's see what have i been up to so on saturday uh you know i like to exercise so i went to my spin class and so that was an hour. And then I went for a 10 kilometer walk with a friend of mine. So we walked all the way to a place called Butter and Cup. And I don't know if any of you know that place. It's uh, really far north on Kennedy Road. Got a treat and then walked back. Sunday, I went to spin class, an hour class. And then I did a four kilometer walk again. So I was super tired, but it was so nice um, to see the, pl the plants all coming up. And just to get to see the little flowers the first flowers of spring when you're walking if you look really carefully you'll see some pretty amazing flowers so i have a message from mrs cariotti uh so i can't really show you the pictures i'm going to try she she made an attempt to do some baking um and i don't know if you can see this but this was her result um i'm not sure exactly what they are oh they're cookies uh they didn't turn out <laughs> so she's looking for a simple recipe to make, uh, I think maybe chocolate chip cookies. I I'm not sure. Um, but 
here's her goal, okay? So her goal of sharing is to make everyone know that you can make mistakes. And it's funny sometimes. It's how we learn and how she learns to, uh, she's going to learn to bake uh, only from the top rack of the oven. Hmm, that's interesting. So I bought some ingredients to make a dessert, but I haven't actually made it yet, but I'm gonna need a bunch of people to eat it because it's way too sweet and it's way too much. So I think I will make it tonight. And if any of the adults wanna come by tomorrow, Larkspur tomorrow, you're more than welcome to take the whole thing home or a whole bunch of it home. So super sweets for somebody because it's delicious, but it's just too much for me. Um, nice to see all of you. Ooh, jumping jacks. Okay, so uh, I think we have some great stuff happening today. I love all the announcements from these students. Um, let's see, we've had some really interesting little creatures here at, at Larkspur uh, joining us. I'm sure some of you have seen them as they, you know, come out in the spring, maybe some little gray things with tails. I haven't seen one yet, but um, they are here. So we have some, some pets in the house. Uh, let's see. I know that you all have been doing a great job this week. <laughs> I know, Miss Nori, it's, it is kind of, I'm not sure. Um, I know you've done a great job this week and look forward to getting to pop into some of your classes this week. Thank you to everybody who's been amazing and welcoming when I've popped in and when Mrs. Cariati and Mrs. Marwar have popped into your classes. It is so nice to see what you are doing, how you're contributing to your own learning and how the teachers are inspiring you and you're inspiring the teachers to every, for everybody to do the best. So my challenge to you today is if you make a mistake, think about the mistake, see how you can learn from it. Maybe it's talking to an adult and asking them, what could you do better? How could you do it differently? And try that thing again. And every time you try it, you will actually get a little bit better. But we have to be really aware of what it is, how, how little bits make us better. It's not always from, I can't do it to I can completely do it sometimes. Some of us are really good at something the first time. Some of us need some small steps to get there, but keep working at it and you will ultimately be better for it. I know you have to head off to your classes this morning. Thanks for having me. And I always love when I get to host individually. So thanks EVS, have a fantastic morning and I will hopefully get to see some of you in class today. Right, have a great day EVS. Yo, yo, yo.